welcome back to my channel um i am gonna do something different i was gonna do a traditional sit down video to talk about my birth story for my daughter but i was like you know what it's saturday it's college football game day the buffs are gonna play baylor and i was like i feel like now's a perfect time to just do my makeup and i will tell y'all the story while i do my makeup um I feel like I can get to the point really quickly, um, all that good stuff. You know, I'm, I'm two kids in. I'm not new to this. I'm sure to this. But anyway, so for those of you that are new here, my name is Jasmine. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back. Um, I'm long overdue sharing this story, but to get straight to it, to get to the point, my daughter's here. She's going to be three months um, in a few days. So she's definitely been here for a minute. So now's a good time to to tell the story. So um, if you aren't new here, you may or may not have seen my video. I didn't know I was pregnant. I found out I was pregnant when I was about seven months, seven months in, um, which is crazy, but I wasn't showing super early and uh, all the rest of the details are in the other video. So you can definitely go watch that before you watch this. But anyway, I ended up finding out I was pregnant. Um, we decided to wait until the baby was born for uh to find out the gender i had a unmedicated home birth at the birth center with kindred space la it's my second home birth my first with my son was actually at home wasn't supposed to be but ended up being at home because he just came so quick um but originally it would have also been at the birth center also with kindred space so i had two unmedicated home births so number two i honestly when you find out you're pregnant like more than halfway through it's one of those things where it's like okay i know i can do this i am planning to do the same thing that i did before so i felt really let me keep moving i felt super um confident in my decision like you know i i wasn't about to like change gears like i had already you know done it with my son so i knew it was going to be the same thing with my daughter the day that i found out i was pregnant I reached out to them immediately because it's like I can't birth without you guys. I mean, I probably could free birth, but um, I just love them and needed them. So anyway, 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 I find that I'm pregnant in like April. I uh, start seeing them again, and uh, like I at this point just believe that I can do it. Like I'm not doing any extra child birthing classes. I'm not doing anything that I did the first time because I'm like. I know what to expect. I know how this works. I know what it feels like. I know I can do it. So, um, so yeah, I, that, that is what happened with that. So, um, my due date, my estimated due date was June 23rd. I ended up having her on the 24th, but like she was chilling. I, missed most of my pregnancy so we can just say she was a super easy going baby like looking back now I can see um I can see moments where I'm like oh I, I don't feel good or I didn't feel good but I never I never chalked it up to pregnancy but, so for the most part she was just a super like laid back under underrated baby so anyway um that's that's what happened with that so 23rd so we're just like living i have a toddler we're just living we are going out to eat we're you know buying stuff i'm getting stuff we're just you know making sure we have enough diapers everything like that's pretty much that's pretty much it so we were at century city on the 23rd so that's my due date so i'm chilling like this girl and her daughter she was like oh like we were like leaving and she's like she complimented me or whatever um and she was like wow like i don't even remember what she said but it was something nice and i was like oh haha ha, like my due date's today and she's like oh are you about to go to the hospital i was like no i'm about to go i'm about to go home actually <laughs> yeah oh my gosh that's so funny though because <laughs> he's also the kind of person <laughs> explained to her I was having a, a home birth but I was just like oh I'm about to go home for real um and that was that I went home my daughter did not come but I started to have contractions I bought some more of this this is so good this is the five dollar one the other one lasted me so long but anyway um so I went home and I did we go get high key we we went and got ice cream 
um, which is what sent me to labor with both of my kids. But anyway, we get home and we're chilling. Like, I don't even know, I don't even know what we were doing otherwise. Like, we had just went to eat on the 23rd, went to Javier's at Century City, get home and uh, I'm chilling. So at like eight something, I feel like I'm starting to have contractions, but it's just very spaced out, etc. Um, I don't think I even text my midwives because I knew it was like, if it's not consistent, like don't, um, what's it called? Like not like don't reach out, but like just wait until it's consistent. So anyway, it wasn't super consistent until like early in the morning. So at like, I think at like three, I had texted them like, okay, I feel like they're closer together. It probably could be closer, but I just feel like because Maverick, my son came so quick last time, what am I doing next? Like primer, what am I, what do I have going on? Okay, um, I'm like, I'm so confused what I'm looking at in my makeup thing. Um, because my son came so fast though, they were just like, we just really wanna be on it. Like once you feel like they're close enough, like just come, just come to the birth center because I should have done that last time, but. Yeah, like I always say, I just don't think they really like understood that I was like, ha like it was happening super fast. But anyway, um, my Ami Colette, I just follow her on threads and Instagram. I love when I find the founders of like brands. I think it's so cool to like, like just like see their personalities and stuff. So anyway, it's, uh, I take a shower, like all of that. Like I take a shower, my bag has like been packed, um, but I text him and I'm just like, okay, like I think, I think we, I should come. So that's like four in the morning. That's like 4.45 in the morning. And like, I didn't, I didn't wanna, I not like, not like that, but which is so selfless, just so selfless of me, first of all. Um, I didn't wanna, can I, there you go. I think I want that light. Um, I was trying to let my like husband and son sleep. It's like my contractions were super, super mild. Like with my son, they were super intense. I was like, I'm going through it. I had the comb, I was on the ball, I was on the couch. Like with her, I was like chilling. Like, I don't even know what I was doing. I was like grabbing some extra snacks, like trying to grab stuff for my son. Like my hair was crazy. That was when I actually wore my natural hair. My hair looks so crazy after I gave birth y'all. But anyway, um, so we didn't even leave until like four or something, like 4.45, um, we left to go to the birth center and still like definitely contractions, but again, super, super mild compared to him. Like it was, oh my gosh, a complete night and day situation, which is such a blessing, such a blessing though. Like how nice is it to be comfortable? But that was like how my whole pregnancy was with her. Like clearly I didn't even know I was freaking pregnant. So um she was just a really a really generous a really generous girl it's my girl um so yeah so i get to the birth center and she they because they don't typically like unless you really want it they don't typically do like a cervix check so i was like can, like let's check so i can just like see like see where I'm at, like see what's going on. And um, and yeah, I I think she said I was like eight centimeters, maybe like seven, which not like it doesn't mean anything, but like it doesn't mean anything. So like I still had to continue to labor um, and hope my water breaks and all of that stuff. So anyways, I after, do, after we do that, I'm just like laying on the bed. Um, it's a really nice birth center. Laying on the bed. I used the peanut, the peanut ball for a little bit. And, um, and then like they know I'm a tub girl, like I'm a water girl. So they run the water for me. So then I go get in the tub and I just labor there for, a good while um just trying to move at this point before i knew it was a girl just trying to move baby down
just don't have enough words to give you the praise you deserve It's about that time I take a deep dive and I go all in Faith like I'm walking on water, I better not fall in Yeah, I'ma keep my eyes on you they were pouring like water on my back and had my had like a cold towel and like just all this stuff and I was doing a lot of moving like once you have one kid unmedicated everything like I literally was just like all right like we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with this as it comes kind of a thing like that's how which is a wonderful which is such a blessing which is such a blessing and again I know part of that is because my contractions were just super, super mild. But anyway, I labor in the tub for a good while. I'm on my knees, like the same positions that I was in with my son to get him to just Seek you like out. I'm supposed to do. Your love is easy like it's one plus two. No more buttons cause I trust in you. You, 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 you are all I need. And I give you all of me. You come first, more of you. I just didn't feel like I was making progress. So I was like, okay, like let's try something different. Um, my water still had not broke at this point. At this point, it's like six in the morning um, because I had her at seven something. So it's like six in the morning. Like if I got there, we left at 4.45. It's like seven minutes from our house. Got there, we'll just say for round numbers at five. I labored from like five to six. Well, until the baby was born, but like like in the tub for like an hour essentially um and it was super calm like my husband had a really good playlist for me it was just it's just so wonderful my son was there he was very much in the whole process like he did not want to leave my husband's side Set apart, covered, and blessed I serve God and say it with my chest Wake up thankful for his patience Grace and salvation So nobody bothering me No weapons formed against me I don't know if it was more of like the like I, I didn't look distressed I don't know if it was more of like a Oh, like, is mommy okay kind of a thing Which is wonderful though Like, I'm so glad my son was there But he was literally attached to my husband's hip. He did not want to um, leave and I respect it. Um, there was so the room that I used at the birth center, it has like a front room, which I thought was cool because I have a toddler. So like my mother-in-law was there again, my mom came um, and then I, there was three midwives. So, um, so yeah, it was just a great experience, but my son was there for most of it. Then he eventually kind of like bowed out. And so then for continuing the, the birthing process, so my water still had not broke, so I'm out of the tub. I'm using a birthing stool, which is actually pretty cool because my mother-in-law has a birthing stool in the house. And who would have thought like, who would have thought I would have been using a birthing stool to have my baby, whereas I was just like totally, so that I will say is like totally, you know, being open to the different ways that you can move the baby down. At this point, again, my water still has not broken. So um, I'm just on the birthing stool, trying to push the baby out, trying to get the baby to come down. Shall prosper, I'm covered in God's yeah, if you say go, then I'll go, Lord, I only answer to you So I'ma keep my eyes on you Seek you like I'm supposed to do Your love is easy like it's one plus two No more burdens cause I trust in you You, you, you are all I need And I give you all of me You come first, more of you listen it was tiring and frustrating is because when your water breaks your contractions like do more they do more so my water had not broken so I feel like my contractions though were strong they just like it was making me having to exert so much more energy and that was tiring for me but I have great midwives they were just like you got it obviously like keep going like do not give up like we're right here so i'm like what can you guys see like tell me what you can see we can see this we can see that so you just got to keep going you just have to keep going so 
um then my husband i was like at this point i'm like okay like i'm just ready to have this baby like i'm ready for like her head was crowning but she was still in the sack you guys the water my water hadn't broken so um it was just like we can see like it's just enough so I just had to like push so hard so my husband came behind me and basically was doing the same like holding me um the way that the that my midwife was so i had my like arms around his neck and i was just like bearing down like oh my gosh i need to get this baby's head out of my freaking vagina <laughs> and i did it and then i did it and i my at that point she came out we have pictures of it too she came out still in the sack like her head and then my water like the sack broke like at her shoulders I feel like which is crazy because she has a birthmark right right in her chest almost like it like snapped you know like anyway so then she then she was out and I was just so proud of myself like yes like I did that shit again I did it again like yes such a it's such an exhilarating feeling it's such an exciting feeling like it's such a, i mean having birth in general whether it's medicated or not like having your child placed on your chest is just is a beautiful experience but um just like knowing like how tired i felt and like like but i still had to have that baby i still had to i still had to have my baby regardless of how tired i felt so it was just like it's just such a rewarding feeling and it's just like then that's it that's done like i'm so proud of myself so um and uh, yeah so then she finally came out but y'all had my water broken i feel like it would have been a a quicker a quicker birth experience versus her being in call which is pretty crazy because like i said we have pictures of it my midwife caught some really good pictures um so yeah that is how she was born and then with uh, with a uh, home birth uh, birth center birth i like go lay down and you just chill like they just let you chill for like an hour um especially if there's no complications like they you know check for bleeding and all that stuff i um i was totally chilling like uh, my girl latched super quickly like she was just such a, a champion she's such a champion and um uh, yeah then after about an hour once the cord stops stops pulsing then we uh, cut the cord and uh, what is it the max and it's like most people that are having what's it called birth are healthy in the sense of like no additional um ailments so not just like shading people who aren't like healthy or anything but um like there's no like i'm not like on any medication like i'm not prone to i'm like i'm not uh pre-diabetic or anything like none of that stuff like you have to all of that stuff plays a factor in having a out of hospital birth that's really what it it all boils down to an out of hospital birth but um but anyway hey, hi Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes. Lord. So we chill for about an hour. So I, I think I was there for like two hours. Like they, you chill for an hour, then we cut the cord. Then um, uh, in between, they just like make sure bleeding is good, everything's good, how my cervix is feeling, how my uterus is feeling, right? Maybe. Um, how it's all doing. Like they, they know what to look for. And then I go to the bathroom. Um, they help me they like they like and it makes me feel like such a like Jesus moment because they like wipe your feet like you know you're walking to the bathroom like you're bleeding like it's just a whole bunch of stuff but it's just like such a such a beautiful experience such a wonderful and generous experience and with my son I got to have it in my house in our bathtub which is why I feel like he loves the water so much and with my daughter I got to have her at the birth center and it was such a wonderful experience and i'm just super super grateful that both of my births were favorable and that there were no complications and that god gave me exactly what i wanted two times over what a blessing what a blessing what a blessing um he's such a generous god like man it's so crazy to think I used to my husband and I used to always like you know want a home birth experience for for me for us um so it's so crazy to even be like man like 
we did this. Like, not only did I do it, like, by surprise, <laughs> I'm weak, but um, I did it. Like, it's crazy. It's such a beautiful feeling. So um, I totally encourage anybody who is thinking about it, if you just do your research. I know if you're in LA, just go to Kindred Space. Like, <laughs> it's a no-brainer. Like, I don't even have to tell you tell you where to go but just just go to kindred space if uh, if uh if you're in la like that's yeah sorry i'm that's the only place that i'm promoting um shamelessly shameless plug shameless plug um but yeah kindred space if you're in la and if you're not in la just do your research like even if you have a midwife and or a doula for your hospital birth like it's not limited to you know being out of the hospital for you know it's not for everybody i feel like everyone should do what they feel is best this is what we felt was best this is what we've always wanted yes we my husband too um that's the other thing too like you gotta make sure you're on the same page with your partner like is this what i mean yes as the birthing person you ultimately get to make the decision but i feel like it it helps when your partner like agrees or feels the same way or once that same thing for you like it's much easier to be fully immersed into the experience which is why i felt like but second with with my daughter it was like oh psh, bet i'm about to have another kid it snuck up on me it snuck up on me but <laughs> but here we are um am i gonna put on lashes today i don't know that i feel like it i don't even think i'm going anywhere today so um I think I'll just do mascara, but I can always put on lashes if I decide to after. Yeah, it's okay. I don't need lashes. Um, so yes, my beautiful daughter was born at 7, 727, 723 in the morning, um, in call, which means she was still in her sack. Um, and then she broke out. Um, she was six pounds, seven ounces, and she was such a little nugget. I even look back on it, my husband showed me a picture and I'm like, whose baby is that? Like, definitely my baby. Um, but yeah, it was a wonderful birth experience. A, um, just a wonderful, it's just a one, a beautiful, a beautiful experience. Like, I'm just so grateful that that is the experience that I that I got to have like I I just feel so grateful it's exactly what I wanted it it's just it's wonderful like to be cared for to be cared for like that it's just there's so many things there's so many things that just made that such a lovely such a lovely um experience honestly so yeah, if I have a third kid, I will report back. Um, yeah, this was my super surprise baby unmedicated birth story. Um, yeah, it's, it's wonderful. However you decide to birth is wonderful, but, and not but, and if you, um feel in your heart that you can do it like you can do it and people are always like oh the pain the pain the pain like it's it's temporary it's so temporary um and there are so many ways to make yourself comfortable but i respect it i respect it like i'm not even trying to argue with y'all <laughs> i totally respect it i just i want y'all to know like you can totally do it and your recovery time i feel like is so much better i feel like it's there's so many benefits to if you're able if you desire really if you desire if you don't desire it then then don't force yourself um but if you desire an out of hospital birth like there's just so many benefits so many benefits i get more more aftercare like i get i think like five visits after like what people I see people on threads talking about why do moms only get one postpartum visit at six weeks like what like my last one's at six weeks like 
you know, I understand also there's an out-of-pocket cost. Um, okay, super simple. Um, it's an out-of-pocket cost, but listen, I will pay it, okay? I, oh shoot, oh shoot. <laughs> this wasn't a good idea because, ugh, there you go. Like I just put makeup on, obviously. Um, but yeah, so that, that was my super simple birth story that I could have filmed a gazillion months ago, a gazillion months and Sundays ago. Um, and my baby girl is here. She, she will be three, like I said, she'll be three months in a couple of days, which is crazy. I feel like time has slowed down some. Like when she first got here, I feel like it zoomed by, but I feel like now it's kind of like slowing down. The holidays, the holidays are upon us. So uh, I'm excited. I'm super, super excited to I'm super excited to just be immersed in everything with her. We made our last three, I wanna go more, but life. Um, we made our three Disney reservations, October, November, and December. My mom can't, no, let me not even say that yet because there's a possibility that she can't go with us. Um, hopefully a date opens, the date that I chose opens, but if not, we're just gonna go we're gonna have a good time we're just gonna you know take the kids we don't have to ride a whole bunch of stuff but i just want to go and have a good time so we're gonna do that there's a pumpkin patch that we went to last year with maverick in redlands it was super fire it's like a carnival but it's a pumpkin patch and it's like all these pumpkins there's a train ride it's got all these food trucks and like carnival rides like it's literally so insane but it's so cool and I feel like obviously when you have like a kid and kids, you do stuff with your kids, what, whatever age they are. But I feel like Maverick is getting to the point where he's like really able to like see stuff. And he's like, wow, like that's cool. And I'm just like, man, like how exciting. Like it's almost like a, a new stage all over again with him, even though he's seen certain things, even like being at Disneyland, like now it's like, wow, cool. Versus like, ah, oh, I'm scared. So anyway, that is it. That is my birth story with my daughter and yeah that's all i i feel like this is tilted i will talk to you guys in the next vlog